Now that we have a method that sends the usernames to an email address, let's implement a dialog that will let the user type in their email address and then hook it up to the forgot your username link in the login dialog. And so I'm going to start with the uh, password reset content because that's pretty similar to what I want to do. I'm going to right click, refactor, copy, and I'm going to call this um, send usernames content. Send usernames content. And uh, let's just go through here. So um, instead of sending the password reset in the form, I'm going to be sending the username email. So let's call that send usernames email key. Send usernames email key. And then I'm going to need one of those in user. Send usernames email key. So let's go ahead and add that. And I'll put that after the password reset. Send usernames email key. Email. And then I'll come back to the JavaScript. Let's start with the HTML again. So this is the send usernames dialog. And I'm going to copy that and actually I'll copy send usernames. And I'll replace password reset here and here. And this is going to be the send usernames email key. And same thing here and here. So now let's uh, go through the text. Look up your username. Please enter your email address and click OK. Your username will be sent to the email to the to your email address. Your registered usernames will be sent to your email address. And then this is going to be email. And all this is fine. And then after they've done that, we want to confirm that it was sent. So your usernames have been sent. Your usernames have been sent to the email address you entered. Please check your email. If it hasn't arrived soon, be sure to check the junk folders for spam traps. Okay, so not wonderful, but adequate. And then copy send usernames again. And we'll change the CSS. So send usernames dialog and send usernames notice. And all the rest of this is the same. So now the JavaScript code, our cancel button is going to close the send usernames dialog. And I'm just going to go through and hit all of those. I could actually find and replace, but. I've already done most of them. And we'll do these two as well. And then I'm going to need a uh, Ajax script to handle this. So send usernames. 
let's write a new PHP file in actions, send usernames email.php, and I'll come back to that. So send usernames email. And I'm getting the content of the dialog, the input, which is the email address. And then on success, I'm going to show the send usernames, close the send usernames dialog, and then call send usernames notice. And this is send usernames reset. Actually, send usernames. Okay, so we're going to call send usernames, and then that's going to call send usernames notice. And then here's send usernames notice. And that's send usernames notice. And close that when they hit the OK button. And that should be it for this. So let's go ahead and hit that. Uh, um, link in the login content and that's going to be this forgot username ID so here we're gonna load content assets includes send usernames content.php and function is going to call send usernames. So just like we did with password reset. And then let's go ahead and do the back end as well as long as we're here. So I'll start with the send verifications email. Actually, let's go ahead and copy that and send usernames email. This is all going to be the same up to here. So I'm going to call my send usernames email method. And I have to pass in the email address that I got from the form. So let's go ahead and get post value. And then that's going to be user colon colon send username's email key. And uh, that really should be it. Let's go ahead and try it. I'm going to go to share, log out sign in, forgot my username, please enter your email address and click OK. Your registered usernames will be sent to your email address. So I'll type my email address. So here's one with some accounts. I'll hit OK. Your usernames have been sent. Your usernames have been sent to the email address you entered. Please check your email. If it hasn't arrived soon, be sure to check any junk folders or spam traps. OK. And then I'll go to my email. And have not gotten an email. So probably have an error. So let's go ahead and pop that up again. Select the email address. Hit F12 and go to the networking tab and then click OK. So this is the URL. Share assets action send usernames email.php. I'm passing in mark.goodman percent 40, which is you uh, an escaped at sign, um, pcc.edu. And then the response I got is this error message, fatal error, uncaught error, call to undefined function, get, get value. So once again, I have to load utilities. 
line 16. This actually I wanted to call get post value, not get get value. But I still need utilities, so require once includes utilities. And let's click it again. Oops, try it again. Okay, so let's look at no response this time. So that means we didn't get an error. And okay, so still not getting my email. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my send usernames email and put a breakpoint right there and enable debugging. And then we'll forgot my username link again. There's my email address. Hit OK. So I'm at my breakpoint. Going to get a new user object, and then I'm going to call send usernames email. So this is getting the post value, which is not there. Oh, because it is get. I'm, I had it right the first time. I don't know why I changed that to post. So let's go back here and change that back to get. And now we'll try. And I'm going to hit reload just to keep everything clean. So sign in. Forgot my username. OK. And I'll turn off debugging and continue. And then I'll check my email. Here's my email. Here's the list of my usernames. So now I'm going to try an email address that doesn't have any accounts associated with it. And I'm going to use my Comcast account, which goes to the same mailbox. Say OK. Get email. No usernames found that match your email address. So that seems to be it for this part.